We're not really doing any math, so to speak, here because we know that 2 to the third is 8. That's a true statement. Okay, we know that that's true. But what we are doing is we are expressing that in logarithmic form so that we can get used to, well, if this is it in exponential form, what is it in logarithmic form? And vice versa, so when I throw in a variable for one of those numbers, you, you know how to figure it out. Okay, so 2 to the 8, excuse me, 2 cubed is equal to 8 in logarithmic form. The base of the exponential is always the base of your logarithm. Okay, the base of the exponential is always the base of your logarithm. Make sure that that's a subscript, okay? Uh, and the 3 and the 8 are going to switch places. So the 8 is now with the logarithm. The exponent is on the other side of the equal. Usually it's a little bit more difficult to go from exponential to logarithmic form because I use the swoop for the other way. You can't really do it here. You just have to look at it um, backwards. But you can always use the swoop to check, okay? 2 to the 3rd equals 8. We're good. So 4 squared is equal to 16. We know that's true. Let's just write it in logarithmic form. The base of the log is the same as the base of the exponential. The other two numbers switch places. Okay. 10 to the negative first is equal to 1 tenth. Well, we do not need to write a, log, a base of 10. We do not have to write a base of 10. Just fill in the other numbers. They switch places, so the log of 1 over 10 is equal to negative 1. Now the next example, the cube root of 8 is equal to 2, that's not in exponential form right now, but we can fix that, right? We remember how to write radicals as exponentials. How do we rewrite the cube root as an exponent? To the 1 third. Power over root, 18 raised to the first power, the root is the third root. So 8 to the 1 third is equal to 2. Writing that in logarithmic form, log base 8 of 2 is equal to 1 third. e to the 0 is equal to 1. Anytime your base is e, you use the natural log. You don't have to write the base of e. The other two numbers just switch places. So either the 0 equals 1 is equal to or equivalent to natural log of 1 is equal to 0. Now, as I mentioned, it's a lot easier to go from logarithmic to exponential. So I did the harder ones first because in this case, I just used the swoop. So log base 5 of 25 is equal to 2 is equivalent to 5 squared is equal to 25. The next one, 4 to the negative first is equal to 1 fourth. 2 to the fourth is equal to 16. Isn't that interesting that 2 to the fourth equals 16 and 4 squared equals 16? <clears throat> Last one, doesn't have a base, but it's a natural log, so it's understood to be e. So e to the negative first is equal to 1 over e. Okay, so that was just converting between the two forms because on the next page, we need to evaluate the logarithm, so we need to think about it in terms of exponential form without using our calculator, okay? We're going to have to evaluate these logarithms without using our calculator because Yes, if you have one of the newer calculators, it'll let you change the base. It'll let you type in whatever base you want. Uh, but the majority of you have calculators that don't. Okay, Your only choice is log base 10. So we have no way right now to type in log base 3 and 9. Like I said, unless you have one of the newer calculators, and then you can do that. But you need to understand this anyways. So log base 3 and 9 is saying 3 to what power is equal to 9? Well, the second. Log base 3 of 9 is equal to 2, because 3 squared is equal to 9. Log base 4 of 64, 4 to what power is equal to 64? The third. 4 cubed is 64. Right? Yes. Okay. I'm taking a guess myself there. Okay. Log base 7 of the square root of 7. Okay, we got to think about two things here. 7 to what power is equal to the square root of 7? Well, we need to express the square root of 7 with a power. Square root of 
7 is 7 to the 1 half. So that logarithm is equal to 1 half. Okay. So logarithms are saying the base raised to some power is equal to this. So 7 to what power is equal to the square root of 7? We can rewrite the square root of 7 as 7 to the 1 half. So 7 to what power is equal to 7 to the 1 half? Well, it would have to be the 1 half power. Number 4, log base 8 of 8. 8 to what power is 8? Well, that would be the first. So here's a property of logarithms here. If the base and the number inside the logarithm agree, it's always going to be 1. Okay? The natural log of D is 1. Log base 8 of 8 is 1. Log of 10 is 1. When the base and the number inside the logarithm are the same, it's always equal to 1. Okay, let's think about number 5 a little bit here. 2 to what power is 1 8? Well, forget about the fraction for a second. Forget about the fraction for a second. Um, what's the relationship between 2 and 8 in terms of exponentials? Okay, <laughs> 2 cubed is 8. Well, we don't have 8 here, we have 1 8. So how can we move 8 to the denominator using an exponent? <coughs> Negative exponent. So log base 2 of 1 8 is negative 3. It goes 2 to the negative third power. I'll write it over here to the side. 2 to the negative third power is equal to 1 over 2 cubed, which is 1 over 8. Okay, so some of these you've got to think about a little bit more. Number 6. Log base 6 of 1. 6 to what power is 1? 0. Zero. Okay, I mentioned this when we were talking about the graphs. It does not matter what your base is. If you're taking the log of 1, the answer is always going to be 0. So that means number 7 is also 0. The common log of 1, 10 to the 0 power is 1. Speaking of the common log, number 8, the log of 1,000, 10 to what power is 1,000? The third, okay? Notice most of these answers don't get very big. Okay, most of these answers are not very big because um, you're talking about powers. Okay, numbers get really big and really, really fast um, when you're talking about raising numbers to to a power. So most of your answers here are going to be fairly small. Number nine, log base two of two to the fourth. Two to what power is equal to two to the fourth? Well, that'd be four. It's almost, yes, it's almost like these numbers right here kind of cancel each other out. Okay, so it's kind of almost like these numbers right here cancel each other out. The base um, and the number right there. Okay, so number 10, what's the answer? 7. Number 11 would be 1. 1 half to what power is 1 half? Well, that would be the first power. Now, you usually don't have fractional bases on logarithms, but every once in a while you may see one. Hmm, number 12. We kind of looked at this, something similar, but not exactly. Log base 8 of 2. So 8 to some power is 2. 1 third. 8 to the 1, pow one third power is 2, because the cube root of 8 is 2. <coughs> log base 2 of the cube root of 4. Okay, here's how you got to think about this. <clears throat> you might have to actually write something down on this one. Okay, 2 to some power is equal to 4 to the 1 third. Well, we've been rewriting things lately. So, how about we try and rewrite Four so that it has a base of two. How can we express four so that it has a base of two? Okay, four is two squared. Okay. Okay, four can be rewritten as two squared, and we 
and when you raise a power to a power, you multiply. So this answer right here is 2 over 3. Okay. So the smaller the answer, the smaller it is. Base. So I have the same base. Okay, now I just told you that your calculator won't do this. <coughs> Technically, it does. It just takes a little bit of manipulation. Okay. Um, you can use something that we call change of base to evaluate these logarithms using your calculator, uh, because sometimes. They aren't nice even numbers like what we just looked at. Okay, you can get decimal answers for logarithms. For example, if we were asked what's log base seven and five, that's asking seven to what power is five. It, there's no clear cut whole number relationship between seven and five in terms of exponents. But the, that doesn't mean that there's not an answer to that. It's just it's not a whole number. Okay. So if we're trying to evaluate that on our calculator, we use what we call change of base. And this is how I say it in my head when I'm typing it in. I do the log of the quote unquote big number, okay, not the subscript, not the base. So the log of the big number, you've got to make sure you close your parentheses right there. Divided by the log of the base. Now there are reasons why I close the parentheses there. There are mathematical reasons why this works. I'm not going to get into it. You just need to know that this is how you do it on these calculators. <clears throat> and there's the answer. Okay? 7 to the 0.827 power is equal to 5. Which makes sense because 5 is almost 7. So it should be less than 1. Because 7 to the first is 7. Um, so, anyways, that is the value of log base 7 and 5. And that's how you would find it um, in your calculator, using your calculator.